Like nearly all viruses, the virus responsible for COVID-19 changes as it passes from person to person and can form new variants. A new, more infectious version called Delta is sweeping across the country. How will it affect us and should we be worried? I'm Kelly Tyrell. This is Badger Talks. Today, we're talking about the Delta variant of COVID-19. For those who remain unvaccinated, it certainly poses additional risks. For those who are vaccinated, Delta may be making some of us a little more nervous. Dr. Devlin Cole joins us. She's a resident physician at the School of Medicine and Public Health. Dr. Cole, thank you so much for joining us. Happy to be here, Kelly. So what do we need to know about this new variant and how should we think about our risks as we navigate day-to-day life with fewer restrictions? Absolutely. Viruses replicate when they copy themselves they make typos, just like you and I would make a typo. And most of their typos, like ours, don't actually matter. But every once in a while, like this Delta variant, it's going to have typos that make it better, stronger, faster. And unfortunately for us, that means that it's better at being a virus. Uh, And so that means that we need to continue to be on our guard. But luckily, Our vaccines, all three of the kinds of vaccines that we have in the United States, have been shown to be effective even against this Delta variant. So we continue to have protection when we are getting vaccinated. But we do now have even more increased risk of getting very, very sick if we're not vaccinated from these new variants. So I think what I'm hearing is that it's really, really important to get vaccinated as soon as possible. What should unvaccinated people know about their risks with Delta? Absolutely. So as I said before, the risks are higher because this variant is uh, a little bit more powerful. But the good news is, is that we've got vaccines coming soon uh, for children under 12. Theoretically, we should have those as soon as September or October. And we're also seeing an added protective effect that the more people that are getting vaccinated, uh, the more protection there is in those communities for people who are unvaccinated. But still, the best thing that you can do for yourself, your own protection, and the protection of your loved ones in your community is to get vaccinated right now. So what about vaccinated people like me? I'm vaccinated. So how should I think about my risks with a new variant, especially if I am going out in public and might be spending time with other people who might not be vaccinated, whether it's at work or at the grocery store? First of all, congratulations. (laughs) Getting vaccinated is the single best thing that you can do to protect yourself against COVID-19, including all of the variants. Um, So have confidence in your vaccine. It is protecting you and there is science behind it. You can return to kind of the normal levels of protection we were using with normal respiratory viruses and flu season. So please do continue to wash your hands. But if you don't feel as comfortable, if you want a little bit of extra protection, it's totally fine to continue to wear a mask, but please do have confidence that your vaccine is actively protecting you. Encourage everyone around you to get it. And the good news is, is that in areas that have really high rates of vaccination, that's actually protecting unvaccinated children and adults who are unable to get those vaccines. So all good things. So what about things like uh, the World Health Organization recently suggesting that uh, vaccinated people should wear masks and maybe parts of the U.S. making similar mask requirements again? How should we be thinking about that? That's a great question. It is. Uh, it can be a little confusing right now, the landscape out there. What I would say is that those mask mandates are not because people with the vaccine need that additional protection, but because when you go out in the world, you can't tell who's vaccinated and who's not. So that's a great way of making sure that societies are protecting our whole selves, especially because we find that vaccine rates tend to be low in clusters and pockets. And that herd immunity can fall in that area and then people are not as protected. So mask mandates can be different in different areas for exactly that reason. So are vaccinated people at risk of picking up and spreading the virus to other people who are unvaccinated, like maybe they're young kids or uh, vaccinated but immunocompromised family members? So technically with this Delta variant, we are seeing people have more breakthrough infections who are vaccinated, meaning that they have more viral replication, a higher load, and may be 
more likely to spread it to other people. But that is still very low. And when you get a lot of people together, like here in Dane County, where we have very high vaccination rates, that is super protective for all of those unvaccinated people. So you're doing yourself a service by protecting yourself more, and you're doing your loved ones and your community a service by getting your vaccine. Because when we all get it together, we actually get to protect those of us that can't, those kids that are 12 and under, immunocompromised people. Uh, and, and we are seeing lower infection rates in unvaccinated children in areas like this with high vaccination rates. Thank you so, so much, Dr. Cole. I'm so glad you're here to talk about something that I think a lot of us have been thinking about lately. It's been on our minds a lot. <laughs> Most definitely. If you have any questions for us or any topic suggestions or want to comment on this Badger Talk, please send us an email at covid19update at uc.wisc.edu. And for more information, you can go to covid19.impact.wisc.edu. This is Badger Talks. 